What is MAC? MAC is the Minority Achievement Community, and the whole purpose of MAC is to close the achievement gap between the Black and Latino students in um, MAC. So, fond memory I have of MAC is there isn't like one specific moment, but like every single day that like I feel maybe like a little sad or alone or like maybe something happened in one of my classes that I feel like only some other Mac students would understand. I come into the Mac lab um, and I feel like right away there's like a community. So through Mac I've had a free essay mentor or a college mentor so she's helped me pick out which colleges I'm going to apply to, write all of my essays and just help me navigate the whole common app and coalition app process. Um, I would definitely encourage upcoming middle schoolers to join MAC because of the sense of community and family that we have here. That would definitely um, help them cultivate the traits that they need to succeed in high school. I encourage upcoming middle schoolers to join MAC because of the sense of community. I joined MAC my sophomore year and it's put me on a sense of direction on what I want for my high school career. Um, it, I've been in uh, I've been in so many programs. The entire club has accomplished ch uh, fundraisers, charities. You know, we've done food drives to the people to people in need. Hey, so for Black History Month, we have a lot of things planned. We have the downstairs gallery that is right across from the main office, where you guys can come see all of our nice, great artwork that we got submitted from fellow students. And we have a lot of artwork that's up there that is us as Mac students. So please come and show in and show come with us in solidarity for Black History Month. What I'm gonna take away is the importance of community and how it, important it is to give back to your community as well as represent black excellence in society and continue the legacy that was once started. Hello CHS, I'm Cooper. And I'm Sophie, and this is Columbia Cougar News. Midterms are this week. The schedule is as follows. On Tuesday, period five and eight will meet. On Wednesday, period six, one, and nine will meet. On Thursday, period seven and two will meet. And on Friday, periods four and three will meet. Remember, you do not need to show up for your lunch period. Also, quarter two and semester one will end on Friday as well. Any senior who has a parking pass for quarter two must return it to Ms. Hernandez in the main office on February 3rd. You will be allowed to park without the pass on Friday, February 4th, as that is the day the quarter officially ends. Any senior who had a parking spot for quarter two is not eligible for a space quarter three or four. Students who submit an application for quarter three will be advised if they have won a spot, and winners must pick up your pass on February 4th. Quarter three parking will run from Monday, February 7th through Friday, April 8th. Spring sports physicals are due no later than Friday, February 18th. All paperwork can be dropped off to Vanessa in room C-128 or the nurse's office. The yearbook club is looking to collect various works of art made by students in and out of the classroom. If you're a teacher and want to submit a student's work or a student wanting to submit your own work to be showcased in the yearbook, you can upload those files to the Google form listed below. You can upload as many works of art as you want. On Thursdays after school, the Astronomy Club meets in D207, the Horticulture Club meets in B118, and the Shakespeare Festival Club meets in C215. And speaking of Shakespeare, this year, the CHS Shakespeare Festival is celebrating its 20th anniversary. The logo contest this year must use the line, What's past is prologue from The Tempest. For more information, check this out.
Those are all your announcements for this week, CHS. I'm Cooper. And I'm Sophie. Remember, teachers, club advisors, team captains, if you have an announcement you want read on our show, make sure you email it to Mr. Camp. Have a great week, everyone, and make sure to tune in every Monday at the top of second period and check out our YouTube channel for more great content at Columbia Cougar News.